Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss one very interesting program related to prime numbers, okay? And the question is find nearest prime number less than input number, okay? That is user will give one input, you have to determine the nearest prime number which is less than that particular input, okay? So here I have written that only that find nearest prime number less than input number. Like for example, if input is 125, nearest prime number which is less than this 125 is 130. Suppose user gives 10 as input, the nearest prime number is 7 which is lesser than the input number. Suppose user gives 3, then output should be 2 because 2 is nearest lower prime number than input 3. Like that. Like here input if n equal to 10 output equal to 7, if n equal to 17 output should be 13, if n equal to 30 output should be 29. Like that the prime number which is just lower than that uh, uh, given input number that you have to print. So what is the algorithm? Obviously quite simple. We will start from uh, the input number minus 1. That is if the input number is n, then we will start from n minus 1 and we will go up to 2. Because here the concept is be careful in that 1 is not a prime number. The lowest prime number is 2, right? So suppose user gives input as 2, the, there is no such uh, prime number which is lower than 2. That also you, you should have take care of about that factor, okay? So anyway, so basically uh, what we have to do, we will traverse from n minus, uh, we will start uh, from n minus 1 and we will keep on decrementing that value and each iteration and in each iteration we will check whether that number is prime number or not. If prime number, we will break that loop and we will show the output. If not prime number, we will again iterate, okay? So see here I have written the MATLAB code first. See? CLC, clear all, close all these things you can write always. Then x equal to input, enter the number. We are taking input from the user. Then m equal to 0. Okay. This we are this variable we are defining. Later you will come to know why m equal to equal to 0. And we are taking that input variable in, a, in another variable that is c equal to x. Okay. Then if x greater than equal to 2, we have to execute this loop because there is no such prime number less than 2. So if uh, suppose user uh, gives input which is uh, lesser than 2, no output should be printed, okay? So like here, so if x greater than 2 is okay, yeah, uh, if x greater than 2, then what you can, or x greater than equal to 2 also you can give uh, because, uh, yeah, it will work, no issue in that. So uh, if x greater than equal to 2, while m equal to equal to 0, that is if this counter is equal to 0, dt, see here, dt equal to 0, we are defining one variable, then c equal to c minus 1, we are decrementing, basically this step in the first iteration, it will be x minus 1, then x minus 2, then x minus 3, and so on. And this part is just to check the prime number or not, for i equal to 2 colon c minus 1, if remainder of c comma i equal to equal to 0, dt equal to dt plus 1, in this if else, in this for loop. Now, we have... Uh, stored the variable, uh, the implementation of the dt variable in dt itself. So see if dt equal to equal to 0, then m equal to 1. That means if all the, uh, if there is no such case where uh, remainder equal to 0, means uh, uh, the remainder when c is divided by i equal to 0, then we are uh, keeping m equal to 1. That is, if this case is applicable if that particular c value is prime number. Else, m equal to 0. Okay, in this if else, and see again m will go here. So as soon as m will be 1, this while loop it will break. And when m will be 1? Because when dt equal to 0, we will get, right? Else, display there is no such prime number below 2. Okay, let us simulate. So suppose let me give 2. See, if we give 2, here 1 it is printed. But 1 is not a prime number, right? So what you do, if x greater than 2, write this then only it will work, okay? Suppose let me give, enter the number 2, there is no prime number below 2. Suppose let me give, enter the number, suppose let me give 10, we see the output is 7, which is perfectly working. Suppose let me give 125, 113. See here, 125 next prime number, next lower, lower prime number is 113. Suppose I give, some other value like here let us let me take the example 17 or 30 
So suppose let me give 17, C 13 is printed. Suppose let me give 30, 29 is printed. So our code is perfectly working. Now you can implement the same program in Java also. See here the code. See first we have to import this uh, scanner class from the util package in Java to take the input from the user. Then one class I have defined with name QAM and public static file main string ERGS obviously we have to write. Then scanner obj equal to new scanner system dot in. We are creating the object in the scanner class. Then system dot out dot printer and enter the number. Then x equal to obj dot next in. Okay, then like here we have defined m equal to 0, here also m equal to 0, here we have defined c equal to x, here also c equal to x. And then if x greater than 2, here it will be greater than 2, control s, then we are going to execute this part. See, same program, just here for i equal to 2 colon c minus 1, here it will be int i equal to 2, i less than equal to c minus 1, i plus plus. Like what is the for syntax in Java, that's what you have to write. Then dt equal to dt plus 1. Okay, close one bracket for if, close one bracket for for, then if dt equal to equal to 0, m equal to 1, else m equal to 0. Then we are giving one space, there is one line gap, there is system dot out dot printl and nothing is printed, then we are printing system dot out dot printl and nearest prime, nearest prime less than the given number is c, because our c will store the nearest lower prime number, else system dot out dot printl and there is no such prime number, there is no prime number below. Two. Okay, so go to the command window. Let us check whether our code is working or not. CD Java, then Java C, and QAM dot Java, then Java QAM. Suppose let me give two. There is no prime number below two. Okay, suppose let me give one. See, there is no prime number below two. Suppose let me give zero. Then also there is no prime number below two. So extreme cases it is working. Let us check with normal input. Suppose 10. See nearest prime number less than given number is 7. Let us check for one more case. Suppose let me give 17. See output is 13. Although 17 itself is prime number. But we have to print the prime number which is lower than that input. So 13 is printed. Because you know uh, this series of prime number right. Then suppose let us give 30. See 29 is printed. And one last case, suppose let us give, suppose let us give 125, see 113 is printed. So our this code is perfectly working. So this is all for my this video. I'll post these two codes in a link, that link I'll provide in the description, okay? If you have any doubt, you can check there. And for uh, any doubt regarding the algorithm or code, please ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching.